Today we're going to review the iPad 3 and the iPad 4. Um, the iPad 3 which will be the one in white and the iPad 4 the one in black. So we're going to start off with the boot up time. So we're turning both on at the same time. And we're going to see which one boots up faster. So, as you can see, the iPad 4 booted up faster, quite a bit faster actually. iPad 3 is still booting up, and it's finally up. Okay, so the, the iPad 3 has an A5X processor and has a front facing camera of. What's a front facing camera? Of a VGA quality. <laughs> okay, cut that out. And a back facing camera which is called the iSight camera. It records at 1080p video recording and image stabilization, facial recognition and all the good stuff that comes along with it. The iPad 4 on the other hand comes with a FaceTime HD camera which which allows you to record at 720p front facing camera and at a 1.2 megapixel size and at the rear facing camera, it has the same camera as the iPad 3. It's called the iSight camera at 5 megapixels, recording at 1080p video quality. Okay. The iPad 3 and the iPad 4 don't really seem too different, but on the inside, there's actually a huge difference. The iPad 3 is using the A5X processor, which is used in the iPhone 4S, whereas the iPad is using the A6X processor, which is almost or twice as fast as the A5X processor. Both screens carry the same retina display, ranging in from at 264 pixels per inch. The charging pin for the iPad 3, as you can see here, is is used at a 30 pin dot connector whereas the iPad 4 has a lightning connector which is a neat little thing added by Apple. Both devices have a rough estimation of about 10 hours of battery life and both weigh in at around 600, 600 grams. The iPad 3 Wi-Fi weighs in at 601 grams Cellular, cellular version weighs in at 622, the iPad 4 Wi-Fi weighs in at 652, and cellular version 662. Like I was mentioning before, um, the iPad 4 has twice the processing speed of the iPad 3 in terms, well, basically, yeah, it has, it has twice the processing sp speed of the iPad 3, and this will be like a very basic benchmark test to show the processing power of the iPad 4. So now I'm gonna now this is currently at one fish and both of them are going at 59 frames per second or fluctuating between 58 to 60. Now I'm increasing the iPad 4's one to 50 fishes inside. Now the iPad 3. It's still alright, both relatively fast, both still at 59 frames per second. And now I'm going to increase it to 250. And as you can tell, the iPad 4 really shines out right now. As you can see that it's still, go it's still going strong at 60 frames per second, 58 frames per second range. Whereas the iPad 3 has dropped to a 40 frames per second range. And now back to 500, up to 500. And this is when you see how powerful the A6X chip is. Currently the, I the iPad 4 has 41 frames per second with 500 fishes in the page and the iPad 3 has 23 frames per second and with 500 fishes in the tank on in the page.
And right now we're going to do a speed test, a Wi-Fi speed test, to see the receiver's max speed. We're starting off the iPad 4. We're gonna, they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi, so it's a pretty even test. So it's getting about 2.7 megabytes per second download speed. And a 0 0.08 megabytes per second upload speed. Now it's time to go onto the iPad 3. So it's get, getting roughly about the same speed, a bit faster than iPad 4, at 2.77 megabytes per second. But the upload speed likewise seems to be around 0 0.1 megabytes per second, 0 .0, 0 0.1 megabytes per second. You will do it one more time, test. Now. So it's, it got about roughly 2.13 megabytes per second download speed. 0.03 megabytes per second upload speed. Now we're gonna do the test back on the iPad 3. So it's getting a lot faster than the iPad 4 actually, which is quite surprising. 2.77 megabytes per second download speed and then upload speed of 0.13 megabytes per second right now we're testing the LTE speeds for the iPad 4 I'm currently running uh, on StarHub LTE Three out of four bars, and I got 25.57 megabytes per second download speed, and a 17.58 megabytes per second upload speed. Okay, right now we're gonna test some real-world speeds and something that the users will be able to tell, or more obviously. Now we're gonna test out the real-life speeds of the iPad 3 compared to the iPad 4, or the iPad 4 compared to the iPad 3. Uh, by launching an app, Infinity Blade 2, which is one of the more graphically intensive apps to launch on an iPad. Oh. And to show you guys, there's nothing in the background. There's nothing in the background, so it's pretty fair. Okay, 3, 2, 1. So you seem to be launching at the same time. The iPad 4 taking a little lead a bit. Seem to be launching at the same time. And they launched at the same time. So the speed is negligible, you can't you can't really tell the difference between the two speeds. <laughs>